Let me show you how to get it, go from rat to rich. Presidential 10, I can't be average. Yes, black. A shot from earlier as the Miami team bus arrived at the arena. The players gearing up for a tough contest away from home. Hey everybody, we're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. Moments away, it'll be the Houston Rockets going up against the Miami Heat. I'm Brian Anderson at the table with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. And with a new class entering the league, here is our rookie race. A look at the early returns. Plenty of time for someone who might not be on the list to become a big time factor. He's hanging towards the back of the pack in the early goings. But there's still time left for him to have a breakout performance. So far, his rookie season has been off to a strong start. Things are going pretty smoothly. Well, both the team has a pace and the player has a pace in terms of their development. Some guys start really fast, some slow. I think he's in a nice, steady rhythm right now. And we've got just enough time for a pregame report. Let's go over to the sidelines, where Ali LaForce is standing by. Ali? Well, Bam Adebayo grew up with his mom in a single wide trailer. He said, quote, I watched her struggle. And as I got older, I started thinking she doesn't deserve this. My whole devotion became getting her out of that trailer. And Brian, with this max extension in 2020, he said, quote, knowing that she's set for life is such a stress reliever. Great story, Allie. Thanks. Well, Brent, the season is rolling on just around the midpoint. For teams really struggling, what's the locker room like right now? Yeah, it's a tough situation, B.A., when you're just trying to find some footing. You would think by 25 or 30 games in, these roles would have been established, but coaches are still trying to find answers to get some consistency out of what's available to them because you expect that from one another. And let's check Miami's starting lineup. They've got Bam out of bio. Here we go. Jimmy Butler out there with Caleb Martin. Then it's Kyle Lowry. And it's Oladipo in at the shooting guard position. And for Houston, Taden Smith at the forward spots. Josh Christopher is out there with Kevin Porter. And it's Shane Goon in at the five. Now here's Porter. Outside Tate. Three-pointer. Rebound by the Heat. They're getting their first look of the season at the Rockets in this one. And they dominated this team last season. Big difference in talent level. Here's Oladipo. Adebayo, a screen on Porter. Oladipo, the pass to Adebayo. Good D by Shangun. Here's Christopher. He's guarded by Oladipo. <laughs> wow. Smith going for a slam. He wants everyone to know that he's arrived. Pass to Martin. Ooh, excellent D there from Smith. Now Porter. Smith with a screen on Oladipo. Got a piece of it. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. So it's the Rockets now. Just five to shoot. Here's Porter. Shingun. Tip back in for two. As usual, he's right there to save the play. Nice timing on the tip in. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Now here's Butler. Turned in an outstanding game against Oklahoma City. Oladipo shots good. Oladipo finding his range now. The Rockets have gone just two for four from the floor. Well, the great ones make their mark in the playoffs, and Jimmy Butler has certainly done that. Some Herculean performances when the chips were down. And about two minutes into the first quarter here. Martin outside. Here's Butler. And that misses. That would have put him up. And granted, last year's playoffs, Jimmy Butler became the first player since Jordan to author multiple 40-point, four-steal games in a single series. Oh, and in 2020, the third 
third player ever to record a 40-point triple-double in the finals. I mean, just legendary stuff. And, Brent, you look at Miami's playoff pedigree. They've made the Eastern Conference Finals six times over the last 12 years. Yeah, and those two championships they had in that 12-year period were square on the shoulders of their big three that they put together. But I don't see them slowing down when it comes to reloading. This team knows how to do it well. One shot. And guys, what I like about the Rockets, they have stockpiled talent. I know they're young, but they focused on getting as many pieces as they can. Now here's Lowry. In his last outing, 10 points for him. Adebayo finds Oladipo. And here's Lowry. Adebayo is screen on Porter. For free, Lowry! He can't hit that time. Houston has gone 0 for 2 from outside. On the wing, Porter. From the arc. And he can't get that one. The Heat have gone 1 of 5 to start things off. Oladipo, the pass to Lowry. And he lobs it up to the rim. And it's Jimmy Butler Jimmy. with the jam. And that's Jimmy Butler with a great finish there. Good hands to catch the pass and throw it through. So what do you think the most important thing for young teams like the Rockets? Well, B.A., it comes down to playing time. I mean, Houston has done a great job of playing their kids. But let me tell you guys, nothing substitutes for game time in the NBA. Learning by playing, that's what it's all about. <laughs> oh, oh, my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. And there it is for him. Good, smart, Jimmy patient Butler. play by Jimmy Butler that time. You leave someone that wide open, and he's going to find him. Order the pass to Shingun. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It goes on Bam out of bio. Hey, I got to admit, I like how the Rockets are approaching their rebuild. This summer, drafting Jabari Smith and Tari Eason, two versatile forwards to go with the other young talents. It feels like the picture is starting to come into focus in Houston. And the first one at the line is good. Think about well-constructed teams and themes that go with that. The Miami Heat certainly leap to mind. Their front office has just done a great job of assembling a deep roster that fits their mentality. Both shots good from the strike. Well, you would know the depth of the Miami bench is certainly felt in the strength of their second unit. Yeah, when the starters sit down, Miami doesn't lose much. There's a tremendous combination of skill and playability that they lean on throughout the course of the regular season. And the bench certainly makes big contributions with their minutes. Oh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Butler gives you so much toughness and determination. This guy can really impact what the culture of your team is all about. Two shots. falls for him so much has been given by Jimmy Butler over the years hard to believe it took him a little while to make his mark early in his career off on that one so he goes one out of two at the line and Butler didn't get selected until the last pick of the 2011 draft. Brent, a lot of teams regret passing on him. Yeah, you can say that again, B.A. Once he did get the chance to play, it did not take long to see just how special Jimmy Butler could be. By his third year, he led the league in minutes, and he's just a guy you always want on the floor. 
Oladipo outside. Adebayo sets a screen. Oladipo on the take. And here's Butler outside. Basket is good with the setup from Oladipo. Butler's got six points. Sometimes you have to run a great play for a great player. That's going to get Jimmy Butler in a good rhythm. Pass to Smith. There's the triple. Rebounded by Butler. It hasn't been his best quarter. I mean, he's trying to shoot himself out of the slump. Here's Oladipo. Out to Lowry. Butler up top. Here's the three. That one is off. And Houston will come the other way. Outside Porter. Pass to Christopher from behind the arc. Adebayo grabs the board. Miami trailing. Up top, Lowry. He's guarded by Porter. Adebayo a screen on Tate. Butler passes to Adebayo. And finished off by Adebayo. Now you try your best defensively to push Bam away from the rim. That's easier said than done. Timeout called. The Rockets. making substitutions here over the last month these are the highest scoring teams in the NBA fifth on the list Miami this team has really found a great offensive rhythm lately running smart plays sharing the ball and racking up points so it's the Rockets now Here's Christopher. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Out of bounds. It'll be Miami's ball. Heat ball. The Heat have gotten 5 of 11 shots to go. And here's Lowry. As far as his production, he's averaging about 8 points per game. Pass to your seven. There's the steal. Here's Christopher. He's guarded by Lowry. And the layup is good off the glass. And the Rockets lead by two. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Robinson gets the Duncan bucket. Robinson. And, uh, Duncan Robinson, he will do that. And so it's Houston with it. Here's Christopher. And right now he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. 
Lowry outside. Pass to Struess. Outside Robinson. And out of bounds. Houston will have it. The Rockets have gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. Here's Christopher. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Well done on the glass. Gets himself in position where he can use his size. Here's Lowry. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Leader of the 2019 Raptors championship team, Kyle Lowry, winning in those finals as the point guard. It just took his career and confidence to another level. First free throw is good. Lowry and the Raptors made their first finals in 2019 and facing that Warriors team that was presenting itself as a dynasty. And man, Lowry was terrific in that series. I think he put to bed a lot of playoff demons that might have been haunting him. Seven assists per game, barely any turnovers, going up against Steph, really earning that ring and solidifying his place in the league. Both free throws good from Lowry. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something two like that. In the first. Two minutes. Pass to Christopher. Up and over Lowry. Christopher misses. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Struess against Green. Here's Christopher. To the inside. Lowry with it. Pass to your seven. Knocks it loose. There's a minute 12 left in the first quarter of the game. Shot from 12. And it's Miami with a rebound. They come into this one having outplayed the Thunder in their last game. Oh my, talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them. But they were able to focus and finish the task at hand. Impressive to see them on the road just step up and have that kind of offensive performance. Pass to Christopher. They set a pick. Up and over Lowry. No good with the elbow jumper. Not a bad shot from the mid-range. The D's giving it to him, and he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. Here at seven, passes to Lowry. Robinson on the wing. Clock at six. Struess with it. Now Robinson. He's guarded by Martin. Here's Jovic on the take. He can't get that one to fall. Green against Struess. Pass to Christopher. Trying to get back on track. Lowry does a good job there pressuring the shooter. Doesn't want to make it easy for him. Well, good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Heat out front. They're up by one. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. things pretty even on the scoreboard so far and a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the heat yeah their early focus on outside scoring has paid off they're finding plenty of points from three-point land so much good energy and flow tonight and that has really come out of great ball movement guys have been open and as soon as they are they get the ball smith plays the four with shingun at center Kevin Porter is out there with Danny Green. And it's Martin in at the three. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. 
Here's Oladipo. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First that one on Shangun. Heady play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Grant, we always talk about great footwork for post players, but how about perimeter players? You know, I'm glad you brought that up, B.A. Great perimeter players have elite footwork. The footwork helps to create the opportunity to score, whether that's shooting a three off the dribble or even in the post up. Great, elite, fantastic, iconic guards who could do it all have superior footwork. Believe that. also good so he hits both free throws the Rockets trail now Porter he picked up 10 in his last game Smith with a screen on Oladipo pass to Green the three is up cash assisting on the play was Porter Porter's got his third assist of the night a good balance and squared up shoulders if there's one thing Green does better than anything else it's nailing catch and shoot Jays now here's Oladipo. He chipped in with 13 points in his last game. Here's Struess. Just five on the clock. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, Jimmy Butler's focus is all on team success. In fact, his agent said whenever he calls Jimmy to congratulate him on personal accolades, like All-NBA Team, for example, Jimmy hangs up in his face before he can finish the sentence. Brian, for Butler, there's only one prize that really matters. Yeah, he's a rare breed, Allie, for sure. Thanks for that. The shot by Oladipo, no good. And the Rockets shooting only 38% from the floor. Not great. Shangun in the post. You're seven on him. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Rockets. Alfred Shangun taking two shots. Shooting two. drops in for him and Grant no team better than Miami at developing undrafted prospects I mean for key roles too you look at last year's playoffs Struess Martin Vincent Robinson it's allowed Miami to stay on top in a salary cap driven league Tate's checked in for the Rockets and Miami with a change here too Adebayo's checked in for your seven both good from the line that time. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Oladipo against Porter. Outside Tate. Here's Smith. And he jams it home with authority. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. Execution with pace. That's a bad turnover that simply was telegraphed. Now here's Butler. He's got six. Over Tate. And too long on the shot. For Houston, they've gone two of four here in the second quarter. Smith passes to Porter. And the Rockets hit again from deep. And you can see Smith has the vision. Now, it'll be interesting to watch that part of his game continue to develop. Now a timeout called by Miami. And just continuing to impress at every level. Smith Jr. was a five-star recruit, led Auburn to a great season as a freshman, and he's just starting to tap into his potential now.
Vucevic checked in for the Rockets. And here in the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes played. Back to Oladipo. To stop the run, it's blocked! And putting his length to good work. Smith gets aggressive and finds the block. Tate's shot is off. Well, the D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. This and he gives up team. some size inside, Pino. but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. Now here's Porter. Smith outside. He takes it in. Oh, got a piece of it. Out of bio with a steal. Martin inside. Green covering. And he makes it. Pino. Martin's got his first two points of the night. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Porter against Oladipo. Picked by Smith. Back to Porter. Puts up a three. And it's Martin with the rebound. Miami has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Out of Iowa, screen on Smith. Here's Martin. Misses in close. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. Pass to Porter. Smith with a screen on Oladipo. Smith outside. From deep. Adebayo grabs the board. He's not the guy that you want to give a wide open look from three point range. They're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. Oladipo outside. Here he goes. Outside for Butler. Oh, stolen by Tate. Back comes Houston in transition. And no good. Some solid defense from Martin. Miami trailing. Now here's Oladipo. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Adebayo is screened on Tate for three. Oladipo. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got four rebounds now. against Martin. Outside Porter. Tries to snap the cold streak. Miami grabs the miss. Oladipo's got his fourth rebound in this one. We've been able to have some team success in this game despite what's been an awful shooting night for him. Houston has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. To the middle. Here's Marjanovic. And that comes off the assist by Green. So wide open there. He said, why not? <laughs> That's like a warm-up shot for him. Time called here. The Heat decide to talk it over. Look at how the game is played today. Teams are looking for length, versatility, and of course, shooting. And Smith Jr. has all of that and more.
Here's Lowry. The shot no good. Great D that time from Porter. Houston in the lead. Pass to take. Shot from 12. Up and over Lowry. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got his fourth rebound in this one. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Robinson on the wing. Miami, no good that time either. Houston has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Here's Porter. And it's Miami with a rebound. Something's off about him this quarter. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. Porter with it. Down low. Here's Tate. Cash. Assisting on the play was Porter. Porter's got four assists now tonight. Well, he's one for five in the quarter, and his body language is saying a lot about where his confidence is. Rattled just a little bit. Maybe the next open look will start him up. Novich shot is off, and Houston is shooting just around 33% since the second quarter got underway. Pass to Porter. Shot clock at six. Back to Christopher. Fires the three. The rebound by Lowry. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Robinson can't hit. Houston with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Pass to Porter. Now here's Tate. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Up and over Lowry. And Tate gets it to go. And now a seven-point Houston lead. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. 141 left to play in the first half. Butler finds out a bio. And out of bio slams it in. That time, Bam just shifted the D over and found the bucket all by himself. Here's Christopher. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. To the inside. Oh, it's stolen by Butler. And here we go, the Heat fast break. Lowry right side from downtown. It's rebounded by Houston. Their last game, a win against the Suns. Looking to carry it into this one. And you know they had a great plan going into that one. And then made the right adjustments along the way. Well, the great thing about watching that game was that we saw it through their offense and they showed a few different looks that they settled into and played well. This story in the second quarter, much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Adebayo, a screen on Porter. For three, Robinson. No good that time. And Houston will come the other way. To the middle. Pass to Garuba. And here's Porter outside. And the three-pointer goes. Porter's got nine. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Now here's Butler. He's got six. Just four to shoot. The three is up. Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. The last thing Jimmy Butler's afraid of is a little contact. Jimmy Butler, three shots.
That's good from Butler. He hits the second from the line. And he can't make it three for three. And so it's the Houston Rockets. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Appearing in control, but could still use a little more of a push to feel totally comfortable in this one. Back to the game after this break. Come one, come all. The 2K halftime is here, and so is our breakdown of the upcoming schedule. Let's check it out. This string of games, it looks like there are some gimmies, but this is the NBA. You overlook a team, and you end up getting waxed. Obviously, coach is preaching that up and down. Sometimes guys just don't want to listen. And now let's talk about this one. Man, what a great start for the Houston Rockets. It's obvious crashing the boards was a point of emphasis. They're rebounding by committee, and their dominance in that category is a key reason for this lead. Their opponent needs to find some Windex because they need to start cleaning the glass. Ooh, Ernie, I see how you did that. And that's it for halftime. Thank you for joining us. We send you back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. One of the stories here, Alperon Shangu getting it done today. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. Now Lowry. And on the floor for Eric Spolstra starting the second half. Victor Oladipo is out there with Kyle Lowry. Then there's Caleb Martin. Then there's Jimmy Butler. And it's Adebayo in at the five. It's more and more comfortable the guys are when Bam has the ball and they cut. They know they're going to get it. Well, an all-star appearance for Bam Adebayo in 2020. Grant, you think he can get back there? No doubt. I mean, I think the bigger issue is we've seen his numbers taper off just in the postseason. Can he reverse that? and bring his best when it matters most. And look at Smith making the heads-up play. Rolling into open position right on cue. And here's Lowry from the arc. And again, Miami with a triple. That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. Shangun, a screen on Lowry. Pass to Smith. Out of bio against Shangun. Back to Tate. Shot clock at five. Here's Smith. And he 
he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Smith's got eight. Searching for a chance to get productive. The rookie Smith, so ready to be a provider for this team. Oladipo outside. And the Heat, another three. Three straight buckets to start the half. This is how they wanted to come out and execute. Porter against Lowry. Pass to Christopher. Here's Smith. He's guarded by Martin. Takes a 13-footer. It's hauled in by the Heat. Adebayo's got five rebounds tonight. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Well, Miami is very efficient. Coach Bolster said, quote, you want to maximize your offense in all the different ways in your menu without feeling like you're taking turns. I don't think anyone would say that about our team. They're an unselfish group that likes sharing the ball, and they enjoy each other's success. Brian? Allie, thank you. Struess, he's checked in for Jimmy Butler. The free throw drops for Oladipo. The Rockets have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Timeout called. Houston. They're just giving away a run right now. The question is, can they stop the tie? Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Points in the game to the paint. Six on the shot clock. The Rockets again can't hit. Miami has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. And here's Lowry. Five points in the game. Inside, out of Io. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Shangun's got seven rebounds in the game. Shangun, a screen on Lowry. Pass to Smith. Shangun with it. He's guarded by Martin. Fade away. The Rockets again can't hit. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. Oladipo outside. And here's Adebayo for the lead. And that one hits the back iron. 
so weird. Sometimes when you get that much time, it can throw you off just as much as having no time. Pass to Smith. Now here's Shengu, counted by Adebayo. Shengu in the post, working on Adebayo. And another miss by Houston. The Heat on offense. They're on a 12-4 run. Here's Oladipo. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. Shangun, a screen on Lowry. Pass to Smith. Down low. Shangun in the post. Counted by Adebayo. Shangun passes to Smith. He drops it from range. Smith's got 11. Not sure which clips they watched at halftime, but he has figured out how to attack the D, and they kept him in check in the first half. He's flipped it. Here's Lowry. It's rebounded by Shangun. Shangun's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Now here's Porter. Nine points in the game. Shangun, no good for Miami. They've gone four of eight in the third. Lowry, the pass to Martin. Struce with it. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And again, the Heat missing. For Houston, they've gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Here's Smith. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. This kid can fly. Smith with unbelievable hops. Miami calls timeout. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now. Just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. One more time. So here is Miami, six-point game. Oladipo outside, pass to Jovic, fires from deep. Smith with the rebound. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Green with the ball. Here's Christopher. Takes the three, and Green good for three. And now a nine-point rocket lead. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Oladipo, the pass to your seven. Here's Struess. Oh, no good! Unable to win this run. 
Robinson defending. And it's rejected. Outside Struess. Pass to Oladipo. He nails it. That's his fifth make in 11 tries. Maybe the halftime break was good for him. Allowed him to step back, calm himself down, get himself in the right frame of mind, and now shots are falling. Here's Christopher. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Miami foul. Duncan Robinson. First personal foul. First team foul. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for the Rockets? Yeah, what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. It'd be interesting to go back through this film in particular and see if there was an emphasis to get that ball down low, get it in the paint tonight. They've done that. It's paid off. First free throw is good. Martin, he's checked in for Smith. It's both from the stripe. MVP voting is usually somewhat contentious. What's your criteria for that award, Brent? I think it's really difficult, B.A., and I don't think there's anything wrong with people talking about it when the voters are saying year to year their criteria changes because guess what? Every season is different. So it's a very difficult award to try to pick out the very best player in the league. Winning has to have something to do with it. Oladipo outside. Robinson finds some space. No good. A bit long that time. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. On the wing, Green. 4-3. He can't get it to go. And Miami will go the other way with it. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Here's Oladipo. He's got 14. Pass to Jovic. And again, the Heat missing. Well, he wants that one over again. I guarantee that. Nobody's even in the neighborhood. It's Christopher on the wing. No good. Off the front rim. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. Oladipo outside. And it's Martin with the rebound. Martin's got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Green. Two minutes remaining in the third. Here's Christopher. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Second personal. It goes on Duncan Robinson. Second team foul. At the line for Houston, Josh Christopher. Two shots. And he drops it first. And the Rockets making a change here. Garuba's checked in. Butler's checked in for Miami. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. Miami has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. 146 left in the third. Pass to Robinson. Here's Jovic. He's guarded by Martin. Six to shoot. Here's Jovic. Looking for his first basket still in this one. And they'll get another chance. And your seven gets it to go. Here's Christopher. 119 left in the third. And 
a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Third personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Rockets. At the line for two. And he makes a first. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. So it's Miami now. Trailing by 13. And after this one wraps up, they're off to San Antonio where they'll face the Spurs. It's the last meeting in a four-game road trip. Robinson on the wing. The three-pointer off the mark. I hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Here's Christopher. This is the most they've led, 13 points. Clock at six. Fires in the triple. He's got 11. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. Left side, Robinson. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Christopher. Robinson defending. Uses the glass on the layup. And the Rockets lead by 18. That kind of looks like a predictable shot, one that they want. The defense has to prevent the ball from getting in that sweet spot. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. Rockets ahead. They lead by 18. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Smith plays the four with Shingun at center. Then there's Kenyon Martin. Then there's Kevin Porter. That's the five for Houston right now. Off the mark there with a three. Well, Miami shooting a low 31%. Their offense is lacking. Outside Butler. Pass to Martin. Let's go with a three. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Butler's got his fourth assist with that last one. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Now here's Porter. Smith outside. To the paint. And he jams it after taking a nice feed on the run. Yeah, so good to see Smith passing the ball like this. Wanting to improve as a distributor at the NBA. Here's Butler. The Heat rebound. Here at seven, passes to Struess. Out left to the wing. Here at seven, a screen on Porter. They grab their own miss. Here at seven, no good. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Pass to Porter. And here is Shangun. He's covered by your seven. Here at seven against Shangun. 
And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Omer, your seven. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. At the line for your Rockets, Alfred Chicken. Taking two shots. First one falls. Tate's checked in for the Rockets. And Miami also making a switch. Adebayo's checked in. He makes both free throws. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Lowry, the pass to Butler. Adebayo is screened on Tate. It's intercepted! Outside Porter. Outside Tate. Rebound by the Heat. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Pass to Adebayo. Knocked loose. Five on the clock. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. You wonder just what it is that's next for Bam as he's shown incredible improvement in a very short amount of time he's one of the more versatile bigs in the league take a break take a break two shots and he knocks down the first one the heat making a switch here Oladipo's checked in. No good on the second free throw. The Rockets have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. It's hauled in by the Heat. Adebayo's got rebound number eight now. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Pass to Butler. Adebayo is screen on Smith. Butler passes to Adebayo. The Heat need to get one up in a hurry. The shot comes out. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. Now Porter. Shangun, a screen on Lowry. Here's Porter. Adebayo with the rejection. And Bam aptly describes Adebayo's defensive impact. He packs a punch in there. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And it sends Bam Adebayo to the free throw line. That one on tape. Free throws good out of bio. How about the unselfishness of this team? Yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scramble. Now here's Porter to the middle. the guy they're going to keep going to as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep feeding him. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. Back to Lowry. 
Pass to Martin. From deep. Can't get it to drop. Now the Rockets take it the other way. To the inside. Shangun. And he dumps it. What a pass to set him up. Such confidence as a passer. Hits guys in stride. It makes it look easy. Now Lowry. Now here's Adebayo. Left side, Butler. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Tate. And here's Lowry from the arc. Good. And Butler gets the assist. Butler's got five assists in the game. Porter against Lowry. Porter, the pass to Shingun. Back to Porter. Shangun, a screen on Lowry. Pass to Shangun. Over out of bio. And it's Houston scoring again. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Now here's Butler. It's Martin on the wing. And the Heat, another three. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. And here's Porter. Smith with a screen on Lowry. Porter, the pass to Smith. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Personal foul. That one on Martin. And when you talk about guys who are built for the modern game, add Smith's name to that list. Jamari Smith, two shots. And the first one at the line is good. All right, the Rockets making a switch here. Christopher's checked in. Good on both. For Miami, they've gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. To the paint. And Adebayo slams it in. That's everything you want there. Bam Adebayo up there. Vertical, good hands, and the big throwdown. Pass to Smith. Outside Tate. Shangun against Adebayo. Here's Christopher. Offensive board. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. Defensive foul. Jimmy Butler. First personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Rockets. Alfred Chingu. One shot. has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Butler against Tate. Lowry outside. Back to Butler. Down to five on the shot clock. Sweet little floater. Excellent touch from Butler. Showing he can be tricky with the floater. Catching the D off guard. Porter with it. Down low. Pass to Christopher. Lowry against Porter. Shoots a fadeaway. Rebounded by Butler. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Now out of bio. Defended by Shingu. The offensive rebound. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Adebayo on the inside knows he has to go up hard. He's going to get hit, and he forces the D to do it that time. For the Heat, Bam, Adebayo, two shots.
Shooting two. The first free throw is good. Yeah, sometimes in a game you settle a little bit before settling in, and right now I think he's a big factor in how they're getting to the line. Both free throws good for Adebayo. For Houston, they've gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. Shangun, a screen on Lowry. Porter with it, guarded by Adebayo. Knocked away, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Butler. And the Rockets with possession here. Here's Christopher. Over Oladipo. Adebayo gets a hand on it. Now Oladipo. It's rebounded by Shangun. Shangun's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Now here's Porter. They double him with Butler. The three. Miami grabs the miss. Adebayo's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Pass to Martin. Now here's Oladipo. Tight defense on him. Two minutes remaining in the game. Adebayo sets the screen. Miami, no good that time either. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Porter against Lowry. Porter, the pass to Shangun. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for your Rockets, Alfred Shangun. And he drops the first. Good on the second, so he makes them both. Miami Time called here. The Heat decide to talk it over. They're down by 16. 141 left in the fourth.
Lowry, the pass to Martin. Back to Lowry. Oladipo with a screen on Porter. Lowry, good. That's Lowry. Kyle Lowry just putting it all on the line, just outworking guys to get in that close. They can take their time if they want. Yes, you have to regroup. Make sure you get a good shot. Pass to Christopher from deep three-point range. Adebayo grabs the board. You know, he's usually very reliable from out there, but tonight it's just not going down. Barring a miracle comeback, this one is wrapped up. They were able to control the tempo and flow of the game, and it will end in a victory for the Rockets. It's impressive how the reserve players stepped up and delivered in this one. They didn't just help out. They made a big impact and really secured the win for their team. And with this one, they go double digits in the win column. And with this one all but in the record books, they set the tone in the first of what will be only two meetings between these teams. 46 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Here's Porter. It's hauled in by the Heat. Oladipo outside. Pass to Adebayo. Now Martin. Now here's Butler. It's rebounded by Shangoon. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside Porter. And so it's the Rockets taking care of business in this one. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor. And they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. And that'll do it, folks. Thank you. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Barry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. Now our New Balance Player of the Game.